Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q2 of the weekly contest 218, max number of K some pairs. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. I thought it was kind of cute. Uh, it reminded me of the, um, just, you know, like, it's a very standard E problem, but a variation of it. Um, but the idea is just keeping track of the numbers you've seen. The, the thing about this is, and maybe it's an intuition, maybe it's something that you could practice, which is just some property around adding two numbers, right? Well, if A plus B is equal to K, uh, and you know one of them, then it uniquely determines the other, so that there's no ambiguity, there's no choice anywhere, You always, and they're, they're all the same, right? Like, if all, like all the threes are the same, so you don't, it doesn't matter which one you take, for example. So, so in this case, we just have to keep track of the number that we've seen, and then we move them as we see fit. Uh, so we have a, we keep a count of the numbers that we've seen for each number x. If we could find its complement, uh, we find the number that adds. You know, uh, we have k minus x here because k minus x plus x is equal to k, obviously. Uh, so that means that you know, for example, if you have five as the k. And you look, and your current number is one. We see if the four is in the count. If it's four is in there, we add to one to the total. We uh, of the to things that we match, uh, and we could do this with greedy because, like I said, all the numbers are the same, right? Um, and we we move one from the counter. If it's zero, we just delete it from the table, uh, the hash table, um, and that's pretty much it, really. Uh, oh, and if if we don't pair it up together, like in you know mix them up and then they blow up um then we just add one to the um to the count of the number x so that's pretty much it um i think the thing that i would think about and that that i did think about during the contest is like maybe duplicate numbers and halves and stuff like that so i would be careful about it and that's what i did even though that case didn't come up but it, you never know so uh yeah that's all I have for this problem. Uh, okay, actually, actually, one more, which is that, okay, what's the complexity? Well, assuming this is constant in like a hash table kind of way, um, this is an O of 1 lookup. All these are O of 1 stuff. This is also O of 1. So that means that this is O of N in total for N numbers. So this is going to be linear time. And obviously, once you have things in the calendar, it's going to be linear space. Because um, in the worst case, they're all unique and none of them sum up to K, right? Um, so yeah, so now you can watch me solve it during the contest. Now. Weird problem.
Uh, hey, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm or other farms, and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, and I will see y'all next contest. Bye-bye.